Welcome to the first episode of the Chivo Chums Podcast. I am one half of your hosts, CJ. And with me... And I'm the other. What's your fucking name? Nightmare. What? Oh, no! Yeah, Chris. Okay. Good job. That basically sets the bar for what this podcast is going to be. Just a total mess Hi. of unplanned awfulness. But... We have many a topic to talk about. Actually, we don't have many. We didn't really plan this out in advance. But we're basically just going to be talking about achievements, what we've done in the past week, or in this case, because it's the first episode, our entire life, because our entire life is devoted to achievements. And then the BCM contest, where... Um, don't get confused with BMC. God, he Trust doesn't, me. He doesn't know the fucking acronym. It's not hard. <laughs> Better matter completions. Oh, wait, no, it's BCL. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just making Better fun of you. Better completions matter. There you go. We're going to be talking about plenty to do with the uh, February monthly modifier coming up, which is the team game, if anybody didn't know that, which if you didn't, you're living under a rock or have never heard of the BCM in the first place, so why are you listening? Okay, with that, let's go. So first segment of the show is what have I done recently slash what have you not done recently? So basically Ooh, I like that. <laughs> basically what this is is um I said is is short for ISIS. Not good. Um oh, uh, oof. Yeah. Alright, cut <laughs> <laughs> We can't reference ISIS. I I guess that is a dangerous game. <laughs> That's very dangerous. <laughs> FBI, open up! <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, no, we're going to be talking about our recent achievement playing as well as our long term because this is the first time you've ever heard me and our my fellow Chris here. Um, basically, we're achievement hunters. We've been achievement hunting for a while. I've been doing it since 2013, and he's been doing it since his birth. Yes, I was born into this... You cannot just experience it. You have to be birthed into this. Yeah, and it's I don't. The only real way. I don't really see why we do it. It's just painful. It makes us enjoy games less because they force us to do things we don't want to do in the game and play them for a it long amount of hours. It gives us meaning in life. I don't understand why though. I didn't want to grind a <laughs> ball for eighty hours. <laughs> those all those two hundred hour plus games. I'll never get that time back. And yet, some reason, you made another account to do them all again. They didn't know that. Way to go. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> now, it's, now it's not like a loser times two. <laughs> That's because you kind of are. I mean, no offense. But, but they didn't know. They didn't need to know. God, we can't do this podcast to make a second living for ourselves. This is supposed to be like a, a do-over. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, so what? You were just going to talk about your 3,000 gamer score that you have? <laughs> no! Nine. It's, for the record, it's, one second, <laughs> it's 9,000? Three, yeah, it's over 9,000. <laughs> you don't get to say, wait a second, when your gamer score is that low. <laughs> it's pretty I mean, obvious what it is. Um... <clears throat> Moving on, so, to our next segment, we're hot and you're not. <laughs> I am quite warm. Uh, yes, we are pretty warm. I had my AC, ah oh, damn AC, I had my heater blasting at 86 degrees all day. That sounds awful, why? It was, I mean it was like snowing and it was super cold and I'm only running one heater right now, so, and I'm also wearing like a hoodie, so it was like super hot. It was like super hot. I couldn't stand it. Super hot, like, like my back no itches idea. from the sweat. <sighs> Ugh. All right. Well, that was a good achievement yeah, segment. Uh, that <laughs> was a good segment. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that on that one. I don't know either, man. It's gonna be a long ride. It's gonna be a long night. We didn't plan any segments. <laughs> We just <laughs> pressed record, but, uh, played with audio well, settings for 50 note, minutes. I know, right? We just be talking about random shit. But back to the matter at hand. So, this. 
<laughs> PCM, I don't think about it in my head for a second. You're already getting to this point. <laughs> I mean, you didn't I even talk about any of your achievements. <laughs> you didn't talk about a single thing that you've been doing. You literally said, I, I have a heater that. on. <laughs> okay. Well, I am curious to know because we are here tonight. I want to know. Oh, no, you're right, you're right, right. We'll get to this later. We'll get to this later. I don't want to rush it. We got to go yeah, slow. Yeah, exactly. Right? Long walks on the beach. Build the Slowly anticipation. Steady. You got to build, build them up. Build the anticipation. It makes them good. So, as you might or might not know, this BCM competition is based off of completions that one can get during their... I don't know how to word this. <laughs> I got that I part when you started... Second, like... <laughs> when you started going, like, completions that get what? I was like, mm, you <laughs> lost it. I lost it. I don't know where you were going but... either, or I would try to help you. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to explain the BCM a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Better well, completions matter. Yeah, I mean the I'll that's the basic this. concept right there is just better completions matter. Done. The, the, okay. Done. The completions Next segment. that you get are gonna be scored based off your uh, ratio versus the time estimate of the game. So the longer the game is, the more points you'll get. The harder the game is, the more points you'll get. And while well, generally ratio normally means how hard a game is, sometimes it doesn't, so you kind of got to do some strategy and pick the easy ones that just happen to have an abundant radi ratio from uh, games with gold and dumb shit like that that make the game worth way more than it really should be. Yes, and currently we are only on month one. That is January. Exactly. We're less so than I guess a we'll twelfth be... done. Yeah, less than a twelfth done. So we'll actually talk to you guys about the achievements and games that have been completed, at least between the two of us, for this month, and our plans for future months to come. As well as possibly invite some of the BCM contestants onto this uh, wonderful podcast. I almost said contestants, and that wouldn't have been nearly good. No, no, they're, 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 they're cunts. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> have you seen this one guy? Like, look at, look at him. Oh, so what, a mega nightmare? <laughs> No! <laughs> that dude is, like, in the running for top ten. Really? In 35th place? He's in the running for top ten. He, dude, that's, like, over a half. All right, he's in the top 50. <laughs> I feel like if he stays on the course he's at right now, he will definitely, probably by July, he'll be top ten. Maybe. If uh, Skeptical yeah, Mario like, doesn't slow the hell down. Oh, yeah, that's Skeptical Mario. So for you guys who don't know, Skeptical Mario currently, already less than a month in, has 40 completions with a high, his highest ratio of a 10. His monthly score is 4,849 already. And it lets you know, to see the gap, the guy in second place has 1,722. That's over 3,000 points different. Yeah, no, it's insane. And, I mean, not to spit but, at the guy that has, only has uh, 1722. He only has three completions, so that's one good completion. Right, like, that's 37 completions difference. And again, for people at home who does not know, CJ, how is this possible to get 40 completions in less than a month? Well, it all comes down to uh, purposely planning all of your achievements. And so basically what they'll do is they um, preload a game. And what that means, if you don't know for some reason, even you don't ever explore TA or see the drama in the UHH forums, basically what a preload is is getting a game ready to be completed or an achievement and then leaving it at the last possible milestone you can so that you can load the game up and get the completion as quick as possible when you need it. So like in terms of UHH, a lot of people, uh, namely a, a friend of mine, so I'm not being thro throwing any shade, but Matthias Anderson is a great um, proponent of what preloading is because he had such a vast variety of preloaded achievements that he would be able to destroy opponents in a matter of one day, completing a list that would theoretically take hundreds of hours to do because he just had those things ready already for when the time came that he would need to use them. And some people may say it's a shady tactic, but I say... It's a strategy. I mean, that's an interesting concept. You know, pre your games to jump ahead. I mean, it works. It puts these guys in front. But how long can these guys go pre-loading games? Because I feel like 
I mean, it's a good strat, especially like this right here. If you can now just maintain a steady lead and complete a few games a month, I feel like he might actually have this. It's very possible, but there's also what you got to think about is some people haven't blown their preloads yet. Some people are saving their preloads. Like, I know there's quite a few people out there that have plenty of preloads ready for the contest, either for the team game that's coming up in February, or we have um, people that just are saving them for momentary bonuses later on, or trying to just make a sneak victory. Point is, plenty of people have good preloads that they're just holding on to, whereas Skeptical Mario has even said himself that he has gone through all of his preloads for the most part, and he's just cleaning up any loose ends that he has right now. So he's going to be working a lot from scratch probably in the near future, completing games that he's either only gotten a little bit of progress on or that he's freshly starting. All right, all right. So, again, I feel like Skep <clears throat> just as currently we go... Skeptical Mario will be one of the main contestants to watch as of right now, and just like to see where things go. He's also the one contestant you really want on your team in the team game, because, oof. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> he is going to be a power to be reckoned with. On top of that, um, we also have a few fun completions ourselves that we've got so far in the month. I know I haven't done oh, yeah. too much since the first week because I just haven't had time. My job uh, has been completely destroying me, and all I've focused on since uh, completing my last two games was Defiance, which has been equally destroying me. On the inside, my soul is dying. But eventually, I plan to complete it. February? All right, so I guess, <clears throat> hopefully. I mean, you're, you're doing pretty well on that game. So I guess, talking about our ranks now... Uh, CJ, I've noticed you're actually currently ranked 17th <clears throat> on the <laughs> leaderboard for BCM. And just to remind everybody, that's 20 ranks ahead of him. We haven't gotten that far yet! <laughs> stop cutting your head! <laughs> Always ruining the fun. Uh, so, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, guys, for that outburst. That was <clears throat> technical difficulties. Uh, Alright, we're back with take number two. Oh, I'm cutting that out. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so um, CJ has a best complete game of For Forza Horizon 3. Which... A.K.A. a preload. <laughs> oh, you had to preload it. See, yep. again, we're going back to the whole preload. That's the only one I had preloaded, really... though. All right, so he has 292 points for this month. So that gives you another uh, idea of how, like, the big gaps that we're seeing, you know, between the guys who are in the top half of the leaderboards compared to, you know, that's like, I'm mean, still even in the top half. Yeah. 292. No, it's it's, it's crazy. It's really, <clears throat> it is crazy. Now, if we uh, go down at 35th place, you have yours truly, Nightmare, or me, Chris, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> you want to uh, tell yeah, him your best game? Oh, 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 why not? You know, you go, man, king of the games. Is, is that how he says it, king, king of the games? I don't know. I don't watch you, yo. Oh, well, you go Legacy of the Duelist. Used to play that game when I was younger. I had the game free. I was like, why not? I'm and pretty sure you up, paid you know, for the for game. What type of game it was? I mean. I completed it, got that 2.3, oh no, it was a 1.9, right, that game? Um, I don't know, one second. I, I believe so. But, all right, so I have three games completed yeah. currently, and it drops me at 137 points. So, again, you see three games completed, and I'm only got 137 points. Then if we go back up to the top real fast, we have a guy who I also, I only use Infamous, actually. He has two games completed, and he has 940 points. Yeah, it's so this pretty also, crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, this goes back to saying, you know, again, better completions matter. The and You gave that formula earlier on what's based on what your score is, or how to find out what your score is. The big thing to remember about Infamous, though, <laughs> is that newer completions, they don't get locked in immediately on the completion. He has um, Absolver as his best completion, which currently, even though it doesn't show in the leaderboard because of the date being included in the thing, 
currently that game sits at a very, very high ratio of 14. Um, and then the time estimate was 50, bringing that up to 700 points alone for the game. However, on February 7th, that score will be recalculated and locked in as its final score. So the more people that complete it before February 7th, the lower that ratio will go before it gets clocked in as its official ratio once it's been out for a month. So that, that main point of that is just to stop people from getting incredibly high points from games that aren't that hard just because they're new and not everybody's had a chance to finish them yet. So this kind of balances things out and says, hey, you can still complete new games, but you don't, you can't, if you do it incredibly quickly, it's not going to benefit you versus somebody that takes a little bit longer because they have a job or they have other responsibilities outside of uh, gaming to take care of. Right, <clears throat> and that would actually make it a whole lot more fair with competitions because everyone, again, has different schedules. Exactly. That's why, I mean, I like to have everything locked in is like Eastern time zones when everything starts, so it's not like some people can start earlier than others and stuff. It's just like there's one dead time in which everything starts. Every month, the uh, team, team games or whatever the bonus is, that'll, those will start on midnight, Eastern Standard Time on the first of the month. So it's always Eastern Standard Time. And I'm sure you can find a converter on Google or Bing, whatever, if you need the help knowing what time it's going to be for you. But All right. Well, one thing I do want to talk about, because, <clears throat> right, again, you know, we're going for completions throughout the year. I feel like we covered a decent amount for this month. But future games that you plan on playing and completing, like that you want to do, would you got any like a list or something? Like maybe like three games that you would like to see yourself complete this year? Yeah, actually I have I can take it even a step further and say just specifically February. I have three games that I would like to knock out in February, if possible. Um, one of which I'm a little more doubtful of than the others, but for sure, I want to complete Defiance. The only thing that's going to hold me back there is there's an achievement called Lucky Kitty, and that is completely luck-based, as you could guess by the name. I just have to get lucky and hope that it drops. Some people get it right away. I have not. Some people take much longer than I have. I have uh, one contestant in here, Slaying Urchin. He's played over a thousand incursions and still has not gotten it. That's hundreds of hours on solely focusing on this achievement, and he has not gotten it. So that'll be the the one that's like, I hope I can get it, but I don't know because it's all down to luck. Giant Hunger, the asshole. I, I love him. He's a great guy, but he's an asshole for getting it uh, the other day. And then he, he does frequently rub it in my face when we do our dailies that he has it, and that's really upsetting. <laughs> then I also plan to do um, mm -hmm. Trials Fusion, and that's going to be a nice one. That's, that's pretty much guaranteed I'm going to have that done. And so my teammate next month is going to be very happy with those points alone. Those are like 900-some points for Trials. And finally, I would like to put away De Destiny, finally, if I can. The thing that's going to kind of rely on that is just finding people to do the um, Wrath of the Machine. The raids? Yeah. Uh, Wrath of the Machine raid, yeah. I don't know if I'm going <clears> to <throat> be able to find a group. I would love to find people that would just carry me through it so I didn't have to really fucking try because I don't want to really play it anymore. I don't like the game that much. Unfortunately, though, raids is a team effort. Eh, not once you get good enough. Once you get good enough? Yeah, I remember back when I always used to be good at that game. Yeah, you know, now you don't uh, even have any achievements in it because it doesn't exist on your tag. Yeah, it doesn't exist. It's like I never played it. Yeah. And... Thanks for asking, but, yeah, the three games that I would like <laughs> to complete this year alone, or possibly in February, I would love... I'm going through the list. I don't know if this will be complete in February, but Warriors of Archie 3 Ultimate. I don't know why, but lately I've been craving that game to play it. That's a 200-plus hour game. <clears throat> I played the original Warriors of Archie 3. It just has a, such a high TA ratio of 8, what, 811, I want to say? 8.11, You can't get 8.11. Uh, 8.11, isn't that what Warriors Archie 3 Ultimate was? No, it's 8.3. 8.3, oh. I don't know, it's higher than I thought. Oh, I okay, I see what you mean by 8.11. I was like, 
that's not how it worked. That would just be 9.1. Or 9. <laughs> at that point. <laughs> no, I got you now. Yeah, I, I just I just couldn't remember what it was. So that's the game I've been craving lately to play. Uh, lately also I discovered Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns. Yes, it's a 360 game. It's old. But again, it's something that I just want to play. It's like I have these random cravings for. And possibly Soul Calibur V. I think those are the top three games I would love to complete. You're not going to complete Soul Calibur V next month? Not next month, but those are the three I want to play, like, in the year. Damn, you're really, you're really stretching this out. <laughs> I got uh, a lot more ambitions than three are... games in one year. I don't know about you, boy. <laughs> oh, I got a lot more, too. I mean, I'll at least give you some examples. I didn't want to, you know, be like, yeah, so I got Borderlands 2, Borderlands 3 sequel, Borderlands, Final Fantasy 13, Final Fantasy 13 2, Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns, or Evil City. You know, I, I didn't want to, you know, go yeah, That's why you just did it? <laughs> that was his entire <laughs> list, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't the entire list. That was one third of the list. All right, because I still have Dead Island. <laughs> okay. <Dead> okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Sniper Elite Three, because we're doing that together. Sniper Elite Three, the DMC Double May Cry, Castle Crashers. Now I do have a spoiler yeah, just... alert for you. Unfortunately, not really, but it's like me and you are not teammates. So, bah, 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 bah. so everything we do in February together isn't gonna really give us any bonus points, unfortunately. Unless we can get our team. Speaking of which in. now Speaking of which now, I feel like we covered enough bull crap. On to the more important thing our teammates for February. Yeah, that's that's a very, very important thing. I'm super excited for very the team important. game because in the beta it ran very, very well. People liked it, people participated People got team completions, even if they were shit team completions, because it would just do easy games. Not, it's not saying that anybody's bad at gaming, but CJ, <coughs> you're right. Sorry, that's why I. You're right. You're right. You know what? I have ultimate. No, no, no not that. I have horse racing 2016 on my tag. I'm no better than anybody else. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, shut up. You had Numo oh. on your tag. <laughs> You just Who? you just made a new attack because you didn't want easy completion. I want to tell you about it. You can look me up, Mega Nightmare. You, know, you find find the description below. You will not see that game on my tag. Exactly, it's because you created a new tag. Because he's too scared to admit that he used to do easy games too. New tag. What? No. And yet, you know, you know what I had to convince this chump of this total chump. It's add a P to our name because we are the chief of chumps because of him. I had to convince him to change his DLC settings because he was just gonna let it stay on DLC owned only. And I think that is the chumpiest thing you can do. That is, which will bring us a new segment next time called. You're a chump and we're not. <laughs> you really just like insulting people. <laughs> All of your names are just insulting the guests. <laughs> or not the guests. You got you you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> the audience? Yeah, the audience, them. The people that oh, aren't gonna the watch. The audience this. is on my side. No, they don't wanna say that they're chumps. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our teammates. Hey, who? Oh yeah, teammates. That's what we were. Yeah, teammates. So, but first, let's reveal yours. Yeah, I was going to say, because I know mine because I did the drawings, Insert obviously. Insert drum roll. <laughs> that wasn't uh, the drum I mean, roll. I edit it in because that was, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't think, you know, doing like this would be nice. I, I, I feel like it would be like ear source. I was like, insert drum roll so you can cut and put a drum roll in. But all right. You know, you always want me to do all the work and you never do anything. Hey. I like it on the bottom. Just fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, th th you know what? No judgment. <laughs> However you want to live your life is your life, bro. Anyway. Oh, yeah. But anyway, for uh, CJ's teammate. I, I got a uh, competitor from the beta who actually happened to participate in the team games quite well. And is somebody that I have actually done a session with in the past. Uh, I got Tackle Glass. And he's a... Uh, He's got some decent completions on the board already. He did Forza Horizon 4. For you guys who are wondering, he is currently ranked 18. Yeah, we're actually right next to each other. That's pretty cool. Only 20 points separate, uh, separate us. No, wait, no. Not yes. 20 points. 
Um, I'm oh, dumb. Oh, no, I'm not doing the math. No, it's, it's like eight points. It's eight points to separate us. So, me and Tackle Glass, both fours are buddies now, because we're right next to each other with Forza Horizon 3 and 4, and we're only eight points separated. So, I think we're, gone, we're on the come up. I think we're going to get pretty far in this team game. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good uh, team right there. Like They're both right next to each other, both in the top half of the leaderboards. They have a good chance to pull something out and you know, next month. <laughs> yep, and now for a team that are both in the bottom half of the leaderboard. <laughs> hey, I'm still in the top half. Come on, I two players. I have 30. <laughs> what am I? I have 35. That is still top half. I'm in the top 50. <laughs> okay, well, your teammate's not, but he's a good guy, and I'm sure he'll make it there because he's done some good games in the past in the beta. All right. So All right what's his name? You're Drop a teammate. Name. Insert drum roll here. <laughs> <laughs> your That's teammate quick. is One Shot You Die 55. One Shot You Die 55. For you guys who are wondering... He is 59 on the leaderboard with the, the best completion of Viking in Battle for Asgard. That is true. You're wondering, what game is that? It's not a good game. His highest ratio is a 1.3. Just saying. <laughs> Don't shit on your teammate. <laughs> Insert oofs here. <laughs> I understand. You had fucking Thomas was alone on your tag before. I don't want to hear Again, it. Again, guys, y'all can look my tag up, Omega Nightmare, in the description below. I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> You're literally guys. friends with your other account. They look at that account, <laughs> and they can just go to your other one. You have three Who friends on friends TA. Who is friends other account? That is, like, the most desperate loser of a thing to do is add your other account. <laughs> <coughs> hey, <coughs> hey, hey, man, account, you want to be friends? I'm lonely over here. Oh, why, sure. You were, you were literally account. only friends with yourself until I sent you a friend request. I just want to make that very clear. His first friend yeah, was himself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to start somewhere. You, know, you probably set like, yourself the as the as the um, recruiter for the site, too. For your new account, didn't you? <laughs> no! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm moving on. Um, Alright, so we got our teammates. I'm super stoked with that. But another thing I really want to know is what is my random game? Because you were pulling those earlier. If I am mistaken. I didn't so pull I them for it. us yet, because I wanted to save it. That's yet. Okay. For this. So, we're it. so we will figure it out now. Yep. Not even knowing. So this is going to be like mind-blowing, truly, truth. I don't even know the words for it right now, but this is our reaction video of what game we're going to play. You literally have, like... Six eligible games. Oof. Seven eligible games. It's eight. It's seven. What do you mean? Eight. Is it seven? One, Different two, one three, four, five, six, what? seven. <laughs> eight. Never mind. I missed out last. <laughs> yeah. Get at me. Okay. Right, so we got, I got eight games with my dad currently. I'm eligible for. And interestingly enough, interestingly enough, Yep, that's the game that you got. Your game for this month is one that you've already started working on. So it narrows it down. I mean, that's like a lot of them. Like, that's like almost all of them. Literally, you can't say almost three. all when it's only... It's not even... Yeah, exactly. Minus three makes it's five. So five it's only a like little bit above 50%. Games. It's a choice between five games. Yes. Okay. The way he's saying it, I feel like it's going to either be Borderlands 2... Or Spiral Reignite, Reignited Trilogy. Well, you got it half right. It was Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Hey! Woo! Which you only have to do Spyro 3 still. You've already finished the first two. Yes, I have beaten Spyro 1 and Spyro 2. I just started Spyro 3 the other day and only done like the first mission. So now you're going to have to... That's not bad. You're going to have to complete that within the month of February. So remember... Complete it within February, starting on 
midnight, February 1st, Eastern Standard Time. And you'll so get 20 you bonus points. 20 bonus points. And also, guys, if you're wondering why I went to February, because he just announced it, it's because it's a February bonus game. Not January bonus game. It's a February. So the game has to be completed within February. Yep, and you still haven't completed your January one because you're a scrub. It's because it's glitched, man. I told you I was going to do it tomorrow. Like, this, is, this is the thing I got to deal with. Like, it's always, why don't you do this, Nightmare? Why don't you do that, Nightmare? Why are you such a, dur- a, a nerd, Nightmare? Like, I, why do we got to do a podcast? With you? I, I just can't win. <laughs> what do you mean, why do we have to do a podcast? I'm the one that did this. <laughs> <laughs> you have no podcasting experience outside of two shitty ones with awful audio. So, By I don't want to That's what all the young people say to be hip. No, they say Liddy. Like, different. that's the shit? No, no, like, that's the shit? <laughs> they that's don't say cool. that's the shitty. So said, <laughs> shitty is not the same. <laughs> Listen to me. I, I, I know this is our first podcast, but we gotta work together and try to, you know... You just always put me down in these instances. Oh, fuck Gosh. me. Oh, I just drew my game. <laughs> oh, he just drew his game. See, he wasn't even listening to me. He just went and drew his game without me even... <laughs> All right. Intro my drawing, okay, man. Yeah. So, without further ado, CJ, with his draw... My game next month is one that I've barely touched. Yeah, okay, so we don't really care. So, guys, uh, let's go to the next segment. We, we found out what my game is, so... Actually, it has two partially discontinued achievements, so I think I have to redraw. <laughs> you said partially, though. Hold on, you said partially. <laughs> well, I don't know what that means. But it could mean things it could not. I don't know. Could mean, like, Final Fantasy XV is partially, but it's still attainable. Yes, but... What game you got? What game okay, you got? Okay, okay, fine. I got Hitman. Hitman! So it's just a complete first season. Yeah, it's, it's oh, the just reboot. Just the first season, Hitman! So, dun, 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 that's mine. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think I'm going to re-roll it. I think I'll keep that. I'll play it some. Yeah, you see, things are going to keep it. I now, don't... he can re-roll any time he wants. Between here to the end of February. What I'll probably do is I'll uh, wait to re-roll until I'm sure if I'm going to continue playing it or if I don't know if I'll be able to complete it within the month. And then uh, mm-hmm. from there, I'll just hope to get something easy. <laughs> I don't think I'm finishing my game for uh, January, so it doesn't really matter. Hey, what was your game for January? I got the shittiest game ever, Wick Fable of Souls. Which I have is, no idea what that is. Yeah, it's... But I'll trust it, you. It's not good. It is a Again, really guys, bad game. Uh, in case y'all don't know or if y'all missed it, because I think it was said already, my game for this month is Halo 5 Guardians. Currently, the only achievement I need is to be the three original Warzone maps, but it's kind of glitchy, so I haven't done it yet. So I'm, I'm still working on it. Bear with me, guys. And that'll be another completion with 20 points a uh, bonus. And it will be. And uh, that's not a whole lot of bonus points, but you know what? I decided to keep it that they way. Add up. All right, that's all that matters. Exactly. Also, it's like, I don't want somebody getting a ton of bonus points just based off of luck, because that is a lot of what the random completion is. It's luck. If you get a really shitty completion, you're not completing, like, Gears of War in one month if you haven't even started it. Unless you, like, really, really like it, <laughs> and you don't have a job. Uh, it took me three months to do Ultimate Edition and get that serious stage achievement, the 10K, because I did that It doesn't matter. You don't have it. it. You don't have it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I don't have it. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's, like, it's not even on my tag. <laughs> exactly. You can't oh. be like, you can't be like, I don't know what you're talking about with Numa, but then be like, but I completed Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Because you didn't. I, I've been on the PC. I played on PC. <laughs> yeah. You, did, you I, didn't I, play it on PC, because that would still be on your tag. I don't know that. <laughs> Uh, the only way to get it is through Windows 10. On Steam. <laughs> you can't oh, get it on S- Steam. S- it has to be in the Windows. Yeah, Fuck. you have to get it on the Windows I Store. I think I was going to make it this far. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you come prepared with a story. <laughs> exactly, and you're you're not very well prepared, are you? Um, I took the SLL test with no pencils. And they said you need a two number twos. I had to borrow one. 
<laughs> Good story. I'm glad that you didn't come prepared for that either. So, now that we're there, let's talk about your real passion. Ooh, feedback. table tennis. No. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> feedback, honey. <laughs> feedback on table tennis. So let's get it. You really like table tennis. He's actually vowed to complete oh. rock star table tennis. You know it. My two favorite things in the world: gaming and table tennis. And feedback. <laughs> and feedback. He's a he's a feedback hunter now. He literally complains oh, yeah. when people don't send him feedback within 10 seconds of the session. Yeah, ending. so like, that brings me to my point. Right, Your so, point. You know, okay. yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a point to begin with, but <laughs> ooh, it brings us to our topic of feedback. All right, so true achievements, you know, <clears throat> you can set up gaming sessions to boost with other players or find a co-op partner. It, gets, it just aches me. Y'all have a good experience, a good organic experience. Y'all collide, y'all clash, y'all have a good moment. You, and then all of a sudden you say, oh, right, y'all, I'm going to give you a positive feedback. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I was the same. So I come back to TA, the moment the session is over, I give them a positive. And damn if they don't give me one. I sit there every day, I, I get up before I go to work. I, I pop on to TA, like, no feedback. Day two, pop one, no feedback. So, this last, I ain't gonna say any names, but the last guy who gave me a feedback took him four days before he gave me a positive feedback. <laughs> and I'm like, it makes no sense. Like, I didn't think it was like, after like, it took him a while. I think it was like late in the evening on the fourth day. Because, like, I was at lunch looking at my phone, still no feedback. I came close to removing my positive feedback. I'm like, man, if you ain't gonna give me a positive feedback, I ain't gonna give him. Because, let's you know. I'm trying to keep 100% feedback score. So if someone wants to be a douche and give me a neutral or something, <laughs> I need positive feedback to balance that out. Well, you're not going to keep 100% though if you get a neutral. <laughs> exactly. So I'm only got four positives. I, I don't do sessions much. I only got four positives, zero neutral, zero negative. So if I got a negative, that drops me down to 75%. That's a big hit. So it matters to me that I get positive feedback. So when I go into a session, I, I try to be the better me that I can be. The best of me. I, I try so hard to make them have a long-lasting experience that they will never forget. Unfortunately, that didn't work too well on Uno360, and he got banned from that. Hey, that guy was cheating. He was stacking <laughs> wild cards. <laughs> oh... Hey, my buddy pissed me off. You <laughs> still don't send pictures like that. <laughs> Xbox Live Vision Cams. Oh, what can you do? Oh, what can you do? Flow Klondike Bar. Well, with that being said, I think it leads us to our final segment of the show. Or maybe not. It's just I named it that because your name. Even though it's not your name anymore. <laughs> Let's. Oh, you, it will be. I will change it back. I know what you're talking about now. God, that was loud. <laughs> you were like, what? <laughs> Sorry, I get excited. <laughs> let's just let's just get this out of the way now, so we never have to hear this story on the podcast again. Tell us about how you got the fire and the flames on Xbox. Oh, I thought the same. I was going somewhere different. This like the only thing <laughs> blew my mind. Ah. But, all right. So I can let's do it this way. We can talk about the hardest achievement, I feel like, that we both obtained. All right, well, I just spoiled yours. Because for me, <laughs> yeah, mine was Through the Fire and Flames. All right, for you guys who don't know, Guitar Hero 3, possibly still arguably the hardest song in Guitar Hero history. All right, so there was an achievement in Guitar Hero 3 for you have to beat it on Expert. All right, that thing took me, honestly, probably four years of my life to get good enough to actually get that achievement. Because, alright, so I started playing it, you know, when I was young. It was at someone's birthday party. They had the entire guitar here. Oh, Rock Band set. I enjoyed it so much. That I got Rock Band. And I just played it a lot. Then I eventually got Guitar Hero. Played it a lot. Four years of constant Guitar Hero practicing. And I finally got what I believe is one of the hardest achievements. What is the, I'll say, what is the ratio on Through the Fire and Flames? Do we even know? 
No, I, can we I, bring I, I that can up? Hear your fingers looking it up. So, I think I'll just sit here comfortably, <laughs> <laughs> looking at my pop tart, Actually, wishing I could eat it, but I'm not gonna do that during a podcast. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't type into the Fire and Flames because I don't know what the achievement name is. Uh, it's called the just, Inhuman Achievement. Yeah. That's. You just look up Guitar yeah. Hero 3 and then. Oh, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually scrolling through it. I gotta find it now. Maybe. It's, oh, it's the Inhuman Achievement. It's literally oh, at the bottom. It. <laughs> yeah, at the bottom. Wow, that's actually not as hard as I thought it was on V, but it's a 3.96 TA ratio. So, you heard it here first. His hardest achievement on his tag, or old tag that didn't exist, was only a 4 V. Didn't exist! <laughs> so honestly, as far as we even know, I don't even know what the heck we're even talking about. I'm just making up stuff right What's now. your hardest achievement that you actually earned? Oh, the hardest achievement I've actually earned. I was like, let's go back to the top and refresh my page. Um, <coughs> you don't have a whole lot to choose from, so it shouldn't be that hard. What are you talking about? I got a lot of games on this tag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, so it's not really much to go through, but currently the hardest achievement I feel like that I've actually that I've have done it's in Outlast. And it's the uh, Energizer achievement I had to look at. It. I couldn't figure out <laughs> what it was. So Energizer, again for Outlast you guys don't know, you gotta finish the game on insane mode without reloading your batteries. And again, that's a six. All right, so that's a six point eleven ratio. Much more and respectable. For, yeah, so it's for almost. Well, I won't say almost doubled, but it's a six point eleven compared to this three point nine six. And for insane mode, it's pretty much beat the game without a dime. If you die, it's an hour, hour ten long game if you just play it normally. And so pretty much, you gotta go through an hour of insane without dying. Cause if you die, you gotta start all the way over. And that sucks. So I remember. You know, I'm going to tell y'all guys a little story. Once upon a time, there was a, a Chino Hunter called Nightmare going for insane it's Literally mode. the same name. Fa- Can I tell my story, please? <laughs> Just pointing out how you're not right. creative. <laughs> wow. All right, so, yeah, so there was a Chino Hunter named Nightmare who looked at Outlast and said, oh... This game would be cool to complete, realizing that there is an achievement for being on Insane. And then, again, you have to beat the game on Insane without dying. An hour-plus-long game. So I actually started streaming, and I actually built a small community for this oh, game. Or I, the community came first. to me. I didn't build it. I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't build it. And because of me streaming it and having those people come to my channel during that time, I actually motivated me and allowed me to push forward and learn how to speed run this game and now so i'm happy i'm proud of that like i feel like doing insane a game that i thought i would never probably complete i end up completing because i started streaming it i mean you didn't complete it yet the base game all right the base game <laughs> you're at 65 <65%. laughs> percent all right what's your prize achievement Gosh. all right mine did a game i've actually completed um, <laughs> this guy, it is in a game that nobody's ever heard of before. See them speedrunners from hell. Now in this game, it's a, yeah, you're a f- right. no one has heard of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I know. I don't bother telling many people about it because nobody's heard of it. Anyway, it's a first person platforming game where the objective is basically to, um, get from point A to point B while avoiding a bunch of obstacles that are trying to kill you. So... The uh, hardest achievement in the game is Hardcore Speedrunner. And what that is, Mm. is a playlist set in the speedrunning mode where you have to turn Hardcore mode on, which means you're not allowed to die or you restart from the very beginning. And it is 92 levels in the game that you have to speedrun through without dying once. And if you do that, you are rewarded with 100 gamer score and 732 TA score for the ratio of a 7.32. So, Ooh, that, not bad. Exa- it sounds a like t- a harder version of Outlast. It is very challenging because it, it's, it's, the movement in the game is very hard to get used to, but once you do, it feels very good. It's just the kind of thing, it's just like moving to the side is very easy in this game, and it can throw you off very easily. 
because it's um, you're playing on such small playing fields and you're trying to jump and use your powers to get through the levels and not get hit by the millions of death traps that they put in front of you. This the game trap. <laughs> is amazing, first of all. Mm. Like, give it a shot next time it's on sale or just buy it full out because, you know, it deserves the money. And it's a 60-80 hour game, even though it's really only 12 to 15, but then there's a, they put an achievement for playing the game for more than 66 hours. So you just kind of have to let it idle in-game and then complete the level for the time to count. It doesn't count if you just idle on the menu. There's also a lot harder games I've done, too. A lot of other hard games, you know, unlike the... I think his name's Omega Nightmare, and he's only completed, like, Castle Crashers. So... And Soul Calibur 2 HD. And uh, some game where he plays as an anime boy trying to play cards. Hey, it's Senpai. Bet you really enjoyed your uh, time playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, I love it when the other opponents call me Senpai. Ugh, disgusting. Stop. (laughs) 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 I think that's the end. I don't like it. I don't want to talk to you anymore. (laughs) Wait, where are you going? Buddy. Buddy, I'm going to our last segment, this time for real. Our goals. The last three segments ago. (laughs) But again, this time we're going to talk about our actual goals that don't involve just completing games. But rather. Yes. You don't have goals there. Anyway. I mean, it still has to do with completing games. It's just, it's different. It's like gamer score related. So, there's a challenge that um, has been brought up by the H101 guys, who, which is the FOOF challenge. Ridiculous, a uh, FOOF's Ridiculous Annual Challenge 2019. Now, mm, final. Ridiculous challenge. Or, Chris, you have taken yourself onto this challenge, and you're going to try to get oh, 100,000 yes, gamer about score. The today. <laughs> In the year of 2019. Yes, I, How do you plan to do that? The 100,000 100, gamer score in a year alone. You guys like, what? That's impossible. You know, and I'm like, no, it's not. I actually have a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> so currently, <laughs> that I've never played before because this is my new first account. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, all right, no, no, because I'm looking at it. I have almost 10,000 gamer score. And the month isn't even up yet. Alright? So, even if I keep, say, 10,000 a month, if I can, that's 10, I know, 10 completions a, a month, which is hard. I feel like if I keep a certain pace and just grind and not, like, sidetrack myself, I feel like I can get it. Because, like, right now I'm working on Borderlands 2. Now I'm going to complete that. And I have, after that, I got Final Fantasy 13, Lightning Returns. I could play that. I got... Borderlands pre-sequel. I got, you know, Halo 4, Halo 3, Halo DST. I, I got games that I can play. I got games. And ga- I got games. I just uh, feel like dropping a few thousand dollars on video games and playing them. And I, I, think, I, I think I got a good chance. I think you can do it. Uh, I think it'll be more impressive because you don't plan on doing shit tons of easy games to get there. Yeah, um, I'm not doing these games. So you look at like these ACA games or like Avatar the Airbender that's done in five minutes. I'm not gonna be playing those games. These games all have like twenty plus hours into them. Well, at least at least a respectable time. Most of them, because Castle Crashers was only eight to ten. Although you do have almost oh, thirteen, well, but that's because you're not good. I hurt my feelings. <laughs> that was a really long pause. Meanwhile, I'm sitting over here with a currently. 1,060 gamers for this month because all I've played is Defiance outside of completing Modern Warfare Remastered, which is where all of my gamers score currently lies. That's 10, 6, 0. 1, 0, 6, 0. 10,060. Yet somehow, said? yet somehow, 5,000 gamers score behind you, and I'm still higher on the leaderboards for the BCM than you are. Because you preloaded a game. We discussed discuss this. <laughs> preloading come bastard son of a bitch. Oh, it, was a good, ah. it was a good preload. <laughs> Forza Horizon 3 was worth a decent chunk of points. I thought I got my Outlast preloaded. Yeah, but this is going to be worth that much. 
It's only a 20 some hour completion. Oh, all right, once I finish with Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see who laughing then. And I'll have Defiance That's completed. Plus our game. <laughs> That's 500 yeah. plus. So you get Kinky Kitty. Kinky Kitty? <laughs> oh, Lucky Kitty. Oh, boy, you're on one. That kinky Kitty. That bothers me. Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was either between Kiki Kitty or Hello Kitty. I, I'm surprised you didn't go with the latter because, you know, that's a, g a normal thing that anybody would say. Ladder Kitty? <laughs> I mean, what? He said the ladder. Alright, this went over my head. All right? I, oh, man. Bad. Terrible. Yeah, for real. And... <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't plan on completing the foof challenge. I did join the leaderboard just for the fun of it because I figure it could be interesting. But I don't think I'll be completing the foof challenge just because I do not get enough gamer score a year. Last year I didn't get nearly close to that actually. Here, let me pull up my last year stats. In all of 2018, I only amassed 35,340 gamer score. Now, with that being said, I had a ratio of 2.2 overall, so I was completing real games, including good games like Sea Um, Sunset Overdrive on Windows 10, No Man's Sky, Crackdown, you know, good games that, uh, you know, matter. I wish I started this contest earlier the, in the year, because I got a lot better completions towards the uh, June and shit. But, yeah, no. I didn't do that much last year because I was just focusing on getting better completions. Whereas, like, if you look at my 2017 stats where I did a, a lot of easy completions, I have 55,755. And that's still with a decent chunk of real completions, too. Because, to me, I find a lot more satisfaction out of getting a real completion that has, uh, I don't know, value personally. Like, if I complete a game that I have to invest a lot of time into... I'm going to cherish that more than if I complete a game that takes an hour and then I forget about it once I'm done with it. I have many games on my tag that were easy that I did back in the day that I don't even remember really doing. I just know that I did it. And now we've come to our, uh, our final, 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 final segment. Finally. I mean, could you just cut it in into like a slot before the final? You weren't section? supposed to mention that it was getting cut in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'll take uh, twenty eight. <laughs> Probably <laughs> at this point, <laughs> it's been bad. Anyway, before we uh, end, we did want to give a shout out to ourselves. <laughs> tell uh, tell you guys what exactly we plan on doing. Yo, with this what up, Chris? <laughs> doing with this um awful Chivo Chums channel. Chibo Chums channel. It, it, that's nice. I like, I like the Chums. Seas. CJ and Chris, we the Chivo Chums. Chiving it up. Chumming it up. Chivos. I can't sing, but that was our theme song. <laughs> anyway, um, so basically what we plan on doing with this channel is simple, and Final can explain it all. Or Chris. Fuck, I can't remember to call you Chris. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember my name at all. So, <clears throat> pretty much, as you've seen, our very sloppy uh, lifestyle. We also plan on adding to this sloppy lifestyle. We plan on recording and sh more or less recording gameplays. Like, we envision doing, like, I guess, playthroughs of games. It, like, I don't know how to really explain it. I'll cut you like, off here then, Chris. I have this. <laughs> I am Optimus Prime, CJ. Do I sound anything like him? No, we're, we're cutting that out. <laughs> like, oh, that entire thing is cut. That entire thing is done. <laughs> I'm here, like, looking at the mic. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> anyway, I am primed, CJ. <laughs> um, basically, what we plan to do is... <laughs> you already said this part. 
Uh, we'll explain it. It's like Basically, we plan recording. on recording videos, and um, some yeah, will be playthrough yes. style, like we're going to do some games. I'm not going to announce them yet, because otherwise they'll fall through. Um, but we plan on recording full plays of games for certain games that are co-op and support the idea of doing like an entire playthrough. And then we have other games where we plan on doing like one-offs or series that are kind of intermittent and kind of just thrown in there for fun. Stuff like, um, I don't know, speedrunners, um, other ones, gang beasts. Mount maybe. your friends! Mount your He really what? wants to do that. <laughs> I don't understand the appeal, but I'll play it for five dollars. Also, something golf with your about friends. Mounting your friends. It's it's something about mounting friends. I just love a good mount. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. No, and uh, I'm I'm super Dude, excited to get into uh, in, into the golfing games because those are like the most fun ever if you have the right people to play it with. <laughs> um. Other than that, we also we plan watch on. Watch out, cause uh. I was a professional golfer at my dreams back in '09. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I, actually, so, I would. Uh, I would kind of believe it. You do kind of look like a golfer. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant gopher. Um, my bad. Well, <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> this is the second time I've heard him. This where's my actually. ice cream? <laughs> where's mine? Damn it! I've been asking for ice cream forever. I was promised ice cream, and so I haven't bought it myself, because I was told I would get some. <laughs> and then nobody's getting me ice cream. It is so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> I need some ice cream. Even though it'll make me sick, because I'm lactose intolerant. I don't care. Also, I mean, if anybody wants to donate ice cream, um, I, uh, mint chocolate chip is my second yeah, favorite. Yeah, so uh, our, our address and stuff will be below, so you can... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> Um, other than that, we also plan on dropping a full studio album of rap, and... <laughs> yeah, we'll be the biggest hit since Eminem. God. Yeah. Yep, of course he mentions the other white rapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. We'll be the, we'll be the biggest uh, group since Wu-Tang Clan. We got this. Except uh, we're not going to be nearly as gangster. We're going to be uh, yeah. office workers. We're, we're going to look more like the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the construction guy. Just saying. And I'm the tiger. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> anyway, we're not, we're not actually doing that part. <laughs> just so you know. Um... Fuck! Although I do have a produced song that I might be able to use as a um, intro song and stuff, which it'll kind of go cool with our neon theme that we currently have going on, which I all designed by myself because I am the greatest. I'm not actually. It was kind of. It took a while just to create that simple uh, emblem because I'm not that good at Photoshop, and that's facts. And my cat's meowing at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your cat was part of the podcast. Want to be a part of the podcast, bitch? Come here. No, she she didn't want to. She ran off. Anyway, so um, th there's other stuff we plan on doing, and I don't remember any of them. So, you know, basically, just we're gonna play games. We're gonna do fun stuff. We're thinking about some of the games that we're gonna do. Like uh, we might be sniping some balls off. Or, Can't uh, say it, man. I'm not saying the names. I'm not saying the names. I'm just giving hints. Uh, we might be sniping some balls off, cutting some limbs off, um, maybe, uh, killing a Hitler or two. Mounting some people. We, we, yeah, we might be, uh, creating people mountains and, uh, hitting Nothing holes. Better than a good human mount. In multiple ways, too. There's many positions you could take in the mount. Many. And we'll just see who's better at being the mounter. Who's better at being mounted. Are you the Mountie or are you the Mounter? Find out next time find on out. Dragon <laughs> Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, shit, Chivo Chums. I have to Chivo I Chums. Yeah. We'll find out in the next episode of Chivo Chums. I mean, we could if you wanted to. That being said, I think that brings us to the end of the podcast. I don't know how long we've been going, so I think it's a good Me point either. to end.
I didn't keep Yeah, when I started zoning out and stopped listening to you, I know it's been long enough. Okay. <laughs> was that you walking uh, or cuz I mean That was a boof. Well, I mean, it's probably the same thing. <laughs> anyway, also just so you know before we end, he is addicted to achievement hunting and it's gone it's gone bad. He's just started and he's already like he's skipping work. He's literally skipping the gym. <laughs> he's skipping his taekwondo it was classes. Time I took off from work. <laughs> it was snowing outside. I <laughs> and as far as the gym thing, I go a lot already, so it's I can skip a week, alright? One week is fine. He literally sits there and just eats bread bowls from Domino's with Alfredo in them. Dude, those Alfredo bread bowls, oh, wow. They are so good. Hey, you're the one who got me on them. <laughs> I know, but I, was there I didn't it expect you, like, you to order like 10 out. of them and a pizza in the it same night and eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat all I had leftovers and then I ate it later that night. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. Damn, bro. Gosh. <laughs> Yo, them gains. Well, Yo, some kind of gains. <laughs> <laughs> Fat gains. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for joining into the first episode of the Chivo Chums podcast. Hopefully, you join us again next time whenever we do time <laughs> i was gonna say next yes, week next but i don't time. know exactly yeah. when that'll be we don't know exactly. or if we'll do another I'm one because this is a flop of a failure probably what were you okay, saying so i thought it was all right what? Well, you know, oh, yeah, i was gonna but... tell everyone uh i was gonna tell our audience who ever made it this far into the channel uh give a, a comment and feedback down below in the comment section so we know how to improve more, yeah. Probably more structure. <laughs> what do you mean? There was I no was structure. as a horse. Well, you're as big as one. Oof. 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 I think it's all about penis size. <laughs> Definitely yeah. not. You're white. <laughs> what the fuck that guy <laughs> mean? <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Go oh, shit because I'm white, huh? Fuck shit. Just flip this table. <laughs> I heard you try to slam it, but it was barely like kind of audible. But I just tapped it because I didn't want to hit it hard because all my stuff was on it. <laughs> you gotta be like, like, like go, next thing you know, my monitor breaks, my computer falls off. I'm like. <laughs> anyway, goodbye for now.